all that inflation. <laughs> the worst part about dating Midwest girls, and I mean the worst part, is pretending to have to like country music. If I have to hear it's five o'clock somewhere, you should crack open your first cold one at 11 a.m. I'm going to Margaritaville and shooting the place up myself. <laughs> Eating at Hooters is like being in prison. You might get a boner while simultaneously shitting yourself. <laughs> I saw a car driver the other day that said insulin on the license plate. Insulin. That driver must be a real prick. <laughs> a real sick prick. I don't mean to poke fun, but he was really threading the needle trying to pass me and I had to give him a shot. One of my exes wrecked my car and I think that was God's way of getting back at me for all the times I said I was going to wreck pussy as a dumb virgin. <laughs> it's a true story. <laughs> now, one of my exes always complained that I never took her anywhere, so I decided to take her to the new I-74 bridge in Moline, since she's always jumping to conclusions. I think sad exes... I get that one. <laughs> I'll give you time next time for that. All right. I think sad exes are responsible for Apple and Snapchat memories now. I deleted all the pictures of my exes and they some, somehow still pop up. I could be having a bad day and it'll pop up and be like, hey, you were in a relationship five years ago today. And no matter how shitty the day I'm having, my mood instantly changes because I know it's better than what I was doing five years ago. <laughs> you guys are great. You guys are <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, let's all give a hand for Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck getting married, please. She's the Michael Jordan of women. Not for her talents, no, she just has six rings now. Jenny's been around the block. It's for my 90s kids in here. They're making a recycled foam shoe made out of dildos. I hope they don't fuck your feet up. I hate it when my feet are buzzing in pain. <laughs> nice. Nice. In Europe, there's a two-year-old boy who's going through puberty right now because his dad rubbed testosterone cream all over himself and it got off onto the baby. This is on Joe Rogan. You can look it up. It's a true story. If you don't believe me, look it up. It's on Joe Rogan. <laughs> Anyway, the scientists are saying that the two-year-old now has a penis size of a five-year-old. Great. Now there's some two-year-old out there with a bigger dick than I do. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> Fellas, I don't care how uncontrollably horny you are. You gotta ask yourself if the sex is worth watching three hours of her show afterwards. <laughs> is it Friends? I don't want to watch it. <laughs> Sorry, J.D. I know you love Friends. <laughs> That's my bad. I was watching a documentary on ESPN about Derek Jeter. I don't know if you guys have seen there's a new ESPN out about Derek Jeter. He's a Hall of Famer on and off the field. He's known for having high profile one night stands and leaving his one night stands with fruit baskets. In these fruit baskets, there's an array of gifts. And it's similar to what I leave my one night stands, an array of STDs. <laughs> Whenever I have unprotected sex with a chick that I probably shouldn't have, I go get tested right away. Right away I'm testing. I'm testing my knees in prayer. Because my God, I don't want to actually go get tested. <laughs> How you guys doing over there? Give yourselves a hand, will you? Everybody, give yourselves a hand. Put the energy out. I love it. I love it. I also love it in movies when um, dads say to the sons, you know, something profound, like, do as I say, not as I do. It reminds me of when my, dad, when my dad said something like that, similar to me. He's like, son, your stepmom's pregnant with your seventh sibling, so pull out. <laughs> no matter how good it feels, pull out. I have eight siblings now, so obviously do as I say, not as I do, only goes so far. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Pitt has been self-diagnosed with face blindness. Yeah, sexy Brad. 
Sexy Brad has been diagnosed with face blindness. So on top of having one of the most beautiful faces of all time, he doesn't have to recognize your ugly face. <laughs> Fight Club really fucked him up. None of you are 10, so this I'm a 10 challenge needs to stop. Your weird little person... <laughs> Your weird little personality traits are what's keeping you from being a 10. No, your physical imperfections are what are keeping you from being a 10. <laughs> you know what a 10 is? Rihanna or Brad Pitt? Yeah. Yeah. Rihanna could join Brad Pitt's fight club, and they're still going to look better than you afterwards. <laughs> and we all know she can take a punch. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is go online and look at and see how many Florida man articles I can find. The other day, I saw an article that said an 80 year old Florida woman fell into a golf course pond and was eaten by a couple of gators. Tragic, right? Yeah, they said her last words were, this is for chubs. <laughs> it's for my Happy Gilmore fans in the crowd. <laughs> Misjudged that one. I thought there'd be more Happy Gilmore fans. It's all right. It's a weird world we're living in. There's a Sherrard High School. Do you guys know where that is? Illinois, Sherrard High School for our Iowa comics. Two students are now identifying as cats. Yeah, the school has implemented litter boxes and shit. I give it two weeks before the janitor identifies as a school shooter. <laughs> it would suck shooting up a school where kids are identifying as cats. You need nine times the ammo. <laughs> These kids these days banging their hot teacher and telling themselves, I don't get it. I had teachers that looked like Mrs. Doubtfire growing up. <laughs> and you're gonna tell on yourself for banging some hot teacher. I still would have kept fucking my Mrs. Doubtfire looking teacher too. And only told the secret when I found out it was a man in disguise. <laughs> Shout out to Robin Williams. These 90s kids, man. Between blowing on a Nintendo 64 charger and blowing the president, a little blow, the sky's the limit. I'm going to teach my daughter that someday. An amber, an amber Alert went off the other day and I thought, my God, how many beds can Amber Heard shit in? I got excited when the Amber Alert went off, not to like, you know, be a vigilante and go help the kid. No, I was just excited to tell that joke. Fuck them kids. I worked at a prison, and the inmates were always trying to get me to read Bible verses. And you know an inmate's favorite Bible verse? Sodom and Eve. <laughs> Sodom and Eve. And they always wanted me to eat the apple. No, I was listening to somebody I used to know at work at my new job, and this weird guy comes up to me and goes, Hey, you guys remember that song, by the way? Somebody I used to know? Absolute banger. One hit wonder from the 2012s. Anyway, this weird guy comes up to me and goes, hey, your step, <laughs> he said, hey, this is my stepdad's ringtone. His stepdad killed himself a month ago and he's reminded me of it every day since. You know how hard it is for me to be like, hey, your stepdad was somebody you used to know. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, death makes me weird. I never know what to say. This guy's had his dad and not stepdad pass away within the last year. So I just went up to him and asked him, so your mom's single then? <laughs> There's a one night guy at work too that knows I do stand up. So he came up to me and said, hey, I have a joke for you. I knew this joke wasn't gonna be funny and original. This man died in a car accident, was brought back to life and lost half a leg. God's not making him funny too. <laughs> anyway, he told me this serial killer bit, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty good. It actually pissed me off how good it was. So I said to him, hey man, you should do stand up. Break a leg. <laughs> of all people, you deserve a standing ovation. Maybe I was a bit too harsh. You've never had someone with one leg try to step on your dreams. <laughs> Speaking of dreams, is this a 
talking to you guys right here. Do you guys like to make wishes at 11-11? You guys seem like that kind of... No? Oh, he does. Perfect. Well, my friends and I decided to spice... Have, has a wish ever came true at 11-11? What wish? Do you want to tell me? It was a car. Give him a hand for the fucking car. He wished for a car and it came true. Are you fucking kidding me? No one else is excited as I am for that? Well, my friends and I decided to spice it up, and we'd make our wishes at 9-11. <laughs> Insensitive, maybe, but you can't tell me Osama bin Laden doesn't resemble the genie from Aladdin. <laughs> I would wish to Robin Williams, but I don't want to hang around and wait for those wishes to come true. <laughs> you guys ready for your first comic of the night? Yeah. About time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear it. <laughs> I have nothing to say to you. <laughs> you guys ready for your first comment? Let's hear it. Come on. Wait, turn me up. <laughs> 